Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today, um, first of all, we need to go, not this way, it is this way. You go back to the top, because apparently we missed um, one of the little message things right at the top. Uh, I believe it was this way. Uh, so we need to go check that out. Find out what they have to offer with those, those other messages as well for us. Um, and then try and crack the rest of the puzzle so we can see if we can try and get this one finished. So it was some guy, where were you? Not you, Not you, there it is. Up there, you go around every hour and a half, time after time after time. You wake up usually in the mornings and just the way that the track of your orbits go, you wake up over the Mideast, over North Africa. As you eat breakfast, you look out the window as you're going past, and there's the Mediterranean area, and Greece, and Rome, and North Africa, and the Sinai, the whole area. And you realize that in one glance, that what you're seeing is what was the whole history of a man for years, the cradle of civilization. And you go around down across North Africa and out over the Indian Ocean and look up at that great subcontinent of India pointed down toward you as you go past it. And Ceylon off to the side, Burma, Southeast Asia, out over the Philippines and up across that monstrous Pacific Ocean, vast body of water. You've never realized how big that is before and you finally come up across the coast of California and look for those friendly things, Los Angeles and Phoenix and on across El Paso. And there's Houston, there's home. And you look and sure enough, there's the Astrodome. And you identify with that, you know? It's an attachment. And down across New Orleans and then looking down to the south and there's the whole peninsula of Florida laid out and all the hundreds of hours you spent flying across that route, down in the atmosphere, all that is friendly again. And you go out across the Atlantic Ocean and back across Africa. And you do it again, and again, and again. And that identity, that you identify with Houston, and then you identify with Los Angeles, and Phoenix, and New Orleans, and everything. And the next thing you recognize in yourself, is your identifying with North Africa. You look forward to that, you anticipate it, and there it is. That whole process begins to shift of what it is you identify with. When you go around it in an hour and a half, you begin to recognize that your identity is with that whole thing, and that makes a change. You look down there, and you can't imagine how many borders and boundaries you crossed again and again and again and you don't even see him. At that wake-up scene, the Mideast, you know there are hundreds of people killing each other over some imaginary line that you can't see. From where you see it, the thing is a whole, and it's so beautiful. And you wish you could take one from each side in hand and say, look at it from this perspective. Look at that. What's important? And so a little later on, your friend, again those same neighbors, another astronaut, the person next to you goes out to the moon. And now he looks back and sees the Earth, not as something big where he can see the beautiful details, but he sees the Earth as a small thing out there. And now that contrast between that bright blue and white Christmas tree ornament and that black sky, that infinite universe, really comes through. The size of it, the significance of it, it becomes both things. It becomes so small and so fragile and such a precious little spot in that universe that you can block it out with your thumb. And you realize that on that small spot, that little blue and white thing is everything that means anything to you. All of history and music and poetry and art and war and death and birth and love tears, joy, games, all of it is on that little spot out there that you can cover with your thumb. 
and you realize that that perspective, that you've changed, that there's something new there, that relationship is no longer what it was. And then you look back on the time when you were outside on that EVA and those few moments that you had the time because the camera malfunctioned, that you had the time to think about what was happening. And you recall staring out there at the spectacle that went before your eyes. Because now, you're no longer inside something with a window looking out at a picture. But now you're out there, and what you've got around your head is a goldfish bowl, and there are no limits here. There are no frames. There are no boundaries. You're really out there, over it, floating, going 25,000 miles per hour, ripping through space, a vacuum, and there's not a sound. There's a silence, the depth of which you've never experienced before. And that silence contrasts so markedly with the scenery and the speed with which you know you're going. That contrast, the mix of those two things, really comes through. And you think about what you're experiencing and why. Do you deserve this? This fantastic experience? Have you earned this in some way? Are you separated out to be touched by God to have some special experience here that other men cannot have? You know the answer to that is no. There's nothing that you've done that deserves that, that earned that. It's not a special thing for you. You know very well at that moment, and it comes through to you so powerfully that you're the sensing element for man. You look down and see the surface of that globe that you've lived on all this time, and you know all those people down there. They are like you. They are you. And somehow you represent them when you are up there. A sensing element. That point out on the end. And that's a humbling feeling. It's a feeling that says you have a responsibility. It's not for yourself. The eye that doesn't see does not do justice to the body. That's why it's there. That's why you're out there. And somehow you recognize that you're a piece of this total life. You're out on that forefront and you have to bring that back somehow. And that becomes a rather special responsibility. It tells you something about your relationship with this thing we call life. And when you come back, there's a difference in that world now. There's a difference in that relationship between you and that planet, and you and all those other forms of life on that planet, because you've had that kind of experience. It's a difference, and it's so precious. And all through this, I've used the word you because it's not me. It's not Dave Scott. It's not Dick Gordon, Pete Conrad, John Glenn. It's you. It's us. It's we. It's life. It's had that experience. And it's not just my problem to integrate. It's not my challenge to integrate, my joy to integrate. It's yours. It's everybody's. Russell Schweikart, 1975. Okay, so that was a that was a very long one, that one. Um, but yeah, that, that I do actually like these. These are actually quite nice little narratives they've got in the thing as well. Um, so, oh, I did not know that you could see this from further out. Oh, that is that is quite cool. I didn't even yeah, cause, uh, as you can see, I was just trying to solve puzzles while we're listening, so we were actually doing something at the same time because that was a very long one. If I just waited around and listened to that one, we'd have been here for quite a while. Um, so, I've solved these ones over here. I've solved these puzzles in here. Um, which were quite quite easy, actually. I thought these ones were going to be a lot more difficult than they were. Now, that one that's pulsating white and black was was hard. The The far end one was a bit easier. Because um, that, that, just, that just worked, didn't it? So, I have no clue with these though that is the problem unless well I need to I need to set the door up for that next so I wonder if, if you do that it resyncs the system it's worth having a look I'm gonna have to have a look at a new way of 
flicking things across. Um, but I could do one, two, three, four. And then just bring it that way. <clears throat> so it was like that. So they were separated. Wasn't it? It was like that. So they were separated. Maybe I should have been paying more attention. One, two, three, four. Right, so that one works, and that goes over there, but that hasn't changed that at all. So that's not it. There must be something else. Does that still let me go through now? So it lets me go through there, but I can't get over there. Ah, okay, so I need to bring it down one more, by the looks of it. So you've got to think about this logically, don't you, really? Um, four, back, over. If I just do that, and that should do that, but then, then none of them over there are, are, are functioning. Is there a way to turn them back on and on again, or is it a case of... I have to find a different way to solve this one. Or is that just still the case of still solving the same thing? No. I don't know. This one actually might be a case of having to Google because that is really difficult. Like, I don't know how that's going to be able to solve. And then this just takes us to this, but we can't use it yet. So we're, we're ahead of ourselves at the moment. I may actually have to go away and work out how to do this one. Unless I mess something up over here or something, or... I think this is actually going to be the first time I'm actually going to have to Google something and find out. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to pop away off for a second because I don't really know unless there was is there something here so I really don't want to like that just that just looks at that and that just looks at that so I can't really see anything there's nothing like around the side that's gonna help me there's nothing here that I can see that's gonna help me so I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna have a look uh, check just hopefully just that bit. I'm hoping not to see too much more because I don't want to spoil it for myself as well. I do actually like these puzzles, so these are good. So, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to pop off and then I'm going to see you in a second. So, be right back. So, looking at the um, looking at some of the hints uh, before even having a look at pictures, which was good because I didn't want to give them away. Um, they're broken. Broken. See? So, we need to. We need to offset ourselves and, and work out these puzzles. Um, so I don't know how some of these are going to work. Because they've got these here. Um, but I would... Ah, so I would need to go up that way, wouldn't I? Could I? No. Could I do that? Like that. Okay, yeah. So it works like that. So let's run around here. Um, so that will be over here somewhere. Okay, so I need to make... So that's, that's one, two, three, across, one, all the way back down to the bottom. Then back up through that and then out. Yes. Okay. Right. So yeah, these are a bit, a bit messed up. These ones. Um, so this can be three in any direction. So that's one, two, three. Cut off. Uh, that's one, two. So this could possibly be a. You could do a one, two, three. 
one, two, three. Oh no, you couldn't do it that way, could you? Could you do it like this? One, two, three. Then come back down yourself. Then you could fit. Where could you fit into? Would you fit in there? You would, but then how would I include this one down the bottom as well? It has to be lined. Um, it would be like that, wouldn't it? But there must be another way of being able to do that. Like the perfect way would be like that, because then that's got all of them together. Actually, couldn't I just do the opposite? I can just do the opposite. So that'd be one, two, three there, one, two, three there. Then pop up here, one, two, three, then up and out. Yes, okay. Wow, this one looks confusing. Um, so they would have to be separated. But purple needs to be with purple. So that would be like that. I'm waiting for it to come back across. Can I do that? Okay, yeah, that's okay then. Um, oh god. Oh, oh. Oh, the quicker you move, the quicker it moves. Oh god. I made a three there. Okay, right. I need to somehow pop one up. No, back down one. Oh, this is actually making me feel nauseous just looking at the damn thing. Um, we need to somehow Go back, go down. Okay. How are you meant to be doing able to do this? I'm getting confused just looking at this damn thing. Okay. Right, so let's plan this out beforehand. Right, we want to get one of these in there. So, and we want to get one of these in here. So if I go that way, up here, then cut that off there, then go that way. That sounds like the best option. So, if I go one across, no, one down, back, no, that, oh, that would work like that, then one across, one over, one up, yes, okay, that worked. Right, also, you can't, you can't copy these, um, these are all your own. All of these change, but de depending on your game, like there is apparently no key to them. Um, oh god, oh god. Okay. That needs to go. Needs to go back on itself. No, straight. Where is straight in this? Okay, then up. Then over. Then up. Then right, then up. There we go. And that has that's opened up the door. Right, we've actually achieved something. We've actually gone into the next section. So we've got someone here. That looks very creepy. I thought that was a moving for a second, but I think it's because my eyes were still spinning from that previous little bit. Um, so we've got a water pump. Pumping water down here. We've got a nice little area down here, haven't we? Just got some people making some windmills. Got what modern windmills? We've got older ones. Um, I don't know what that one is. 
then we've got little nice little oh these are all the designs for the, the tree houses so I wonder if this is all sort of like an experiment sort of like I'm going to come back to the portal thing because um, it feels very portal-esque like someone's watching you is trying to guide you to do something to find out something uh, a bit like um, Thalos Principle and stuff like that so right, so we've got a door over there so that's the one we need to get to Uh, but it looks like we need to drop some stairs down. Oh wow, this is pretty psychedelic, that isn't it? So they need to be. Are they the same ones? No. They're blue, purple, green. They're blue. What? No, they're the same, aren't they? They need to be kept separate from those ones. No, you're one that needs to keep be kept separate, aren't you? So why don't I just keep you guys separate? What? What if I just do that? That'll keep everyone separate from each other. Um, so if blue is green, and that is green as well. So they are together. So I need to like cut you guys off. No? No, I can't do that because I can't go around to the top, can I? So I'd have to... Right, so you're with them, aren't you? Sure, like that? Yeah, okay. Right, now it's making a bit more sense. A little bit more sense. Um, so yellow. Yellow is them. Yes, I get it. Yellow is those ones. So I need to separate you somehow, but keep you together. So if I just... So if yellow is those ones, that means you're a blue. No, because they need to be together, don't they? So somehow I need to be able to do something really funky here. You know, basically like that sort of thing, but with that one down there as well. Maybe like... Is there a way of doing that? No clue. I'm getting really confused. I'm just going to do like a random pattern. Oh, no. Of course it won't. It must be something like this. 
But how would I separate you at the bottom? It must be... It must be something like that. Preferably it'd be like that, but then I couldn't get back up again. Or is it a case of just trying to limit the yellows? I couldn't do that without crossing over the boundary as well, couldn't I? Or could I? No, because I'd have to go around these corners again. At some point, I've got to cross a boundary. Okay, right. I'm, 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 I'm gonna have to spend quite a few bits working on these ones anyway. So yeah, guys, um, we have progressed a little bit further, which is being quite good. We've got some psychedelic looking little things here with a nice little bush. So that's all right. So uh, yeah, I hope you did like this. If you did like this, then please hit that like button. And if you want to see more, then please do subscribe. But I'll see you in the next one. Bye.